Hey everyone, episode 12, week 14. Let's get started. So, first of all, sorry for last week. We were a little bit all over the place. I think we could have done a better job explaining what we were doing, videotaping what we were doing. Um, but as a recap, we checked for mites, we did a sugar roll test, worked out really well. We had no mites, so it means we don't have to treat our bees. Um, we moved a couple of brood frames from the lower box into the upper box to see if we could coax the bees up to build out some of the new frames up there. Um, we fed them another ga gallon of sugar water. This week, week we're switching to two to one ratio as opposed to one to one ratio of sugar water. Um, we didn't find the queen, so we didn't get the marker. But hopefully, we find her this week and we get the marker. Um, so it's been raining for the last three days, but a lot of flowers are out in bloom right now, um, which is good. These should be out foraging in full force. Um, there's a lot of movement in the box and not that much bearding, which means that they're probably out. Um, today I'm going to check to see whether or not they filled up the top box or if they started building in the top box and in the second box where we moved the frames out. We're going to feed them two to one sugar water mix, which I've already made. Um, let it sit around for a little bit, see if it actually mixes. Um, and again, if I, I find the queen... I hope to mark her, um, but she's been hiding from us lately, so um, let's get moving to the, the hive. basically all out but it looks like they've had a little bit of it which is good because, or left a little bit of it which is good because it means that they're actually out foraging. on the lid there and a bunch up here let's take a look at how we're doing Okay, this is one of the brood frames we moved up from below. We have a ton of brood on it, and they've started building it out for honey. This was one of the empty frames. And look at that beautiful handmade drawn comb. Sorry for the quick interruption. So I'm editing this video right now and I realized that you might not know what the heck I'm talking about when I'm saying frames with no foundation or foundationless frames and what, what I mean by when the bees are building their own comb. So two weeks ago, 
we put a new box on top of the on top of the hive with 10 frames with no foundation in them and you can see those right i guess right here so hope this makes sense um, these frames have nothing in them except for a little bit of wax to get the bees started as opposed to what we did at the very beginning which is put frames in with full foundations which you can see right here as you can see these frames have a whole bunch of wax that the bees can build up so what we're trying to do here is get the bees to make all of these frames with their own wax it takes a little bit more time but then when you're making honey you can take all the wax and squeeze it out better and just pop it out and put the frames back in uh, I guess let's get back to it. This was one of the root frames that we moved up and it's still completely hatched out brood frame, which is good. This was a combless frame and they've started building a ton of comb on this one. So I'm going to venture to say that building into the top box was a smart idea because they've started drawing this one out also. So we'll feed them this week and I bet by next week there'll be a lot more built out. Sorry little buddy, I didn't mean to roll you. Cool, top box is finished. Let's move down below. This was a frame with no drawn comb on it. And this is all drawn comb by the bees for the bees, which is incredible. Here's another frame that had nothing on it last week at all now has completely drawn comb and a bunch of pollen stores amazing she's doing an awesome job they're doing an awesome job and she started laying in this one it looks like okay so take a look inside here you'll see a bunch of eggs all the way down i'll circle them when we when I do the video but look at this just killing it on this brand new frame this frame is starting to have captoni on it tons of brood still tons of larvae so we're doing really well on it and the end frame has a bunch of capped honey so I'm not gonna go down into the third box we're doing really well here she's obviously laying up a storm still still um, she they're building on the empty comb which is what I wanted um, and they will keep doing that. So we're just gonna put all these bees back in and let them do their thing. So let's do a quick recap. Um, first of all, they did a really good job. They built the two frames that we put down where we removed group frames are completely filled. Um, I'll link to those down below um, or I'll put the minute marker on it to see those. Um, the feeding went well. We put two to one sugar water. It's really thick, but it looks good. Um, 
on the top, they filled three frames out of new comb. They started putting brood in a new comb. It's all frameless or all foundationless comb, which is awesome. Um, so overall, really well. I didn't see the queen, I didn't get the marker, but you know that happens. Um, she's still doing an amazing job. I have some images of eggs and larva to show you guys so you can see the really up close versions of them. Um, as always, if you like the video, please like it. It helps us a lot. Comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or anything that you want to know more about the bees. Um, make sure you click here to subscribe and right down here to watch the last videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys.